Hey guys, Mitch of Cupid here, and I'm going to be reading the rest of the uh, Clance Spider-Man AU fan fiction. So, and also, I, I will not say, well, I do not have any profound language in this. So, yeah, don't expect much of that. So, also, if you guys want to read it yourselves, go ahead and uh, read it, but... Anyways, let's get started. Part 4. Saving Lance. Lance's point of view. I was watching TV, but I saw it and turned it off. Well, better get to my part-time job now. Keith left a while earlier, and if he knew I was working at, as a butler at a cafe, he would never let me hear the end of it. Alura was running caf the cafe, and after graduation, she offer offered me a job, and I couldn't refuse a job offer, so I said yes, of course. I was going to have to pay for the rent with Keith either way, and there's no way that I'm the only one who is not going to contribute. So yeah, that's pretty much how I got the job. Lance, could you please help Coran open the cafe, please? I walked over to help Coran with the door. Coran was Alora's guardian in some way. He was like a cool uncle. I turned to Alora with a thumbs up. Alora smiled and said, Thank you, Lance. Would you make some sweets to take back to your apartment? apartment? I shook my head. No thanks, Laura. If I brought sweets home, Keith would find out and I'd be embarrassed. Laura raised an eyebrow. Keith? Oh, you mean the one you have a crush on? I glared at Laura as she giggled at me. Hardy har har. Very funny, Laura. I said in a sarcastic tone. I do not have a crush on Keith. Laura looked at me as if I was joking. I could tell she was serious. Why do you follow Keith like a puppy then? I winced and said, We're just friends, Laura, nothing more. Sure you are, I heard her say in a sarcastic tone of voice. I hear Shay in the kitchen. Lance, we know how you feel about Keith. Stop denying it. I looked to the kitchen. Can you please, can you stop, please? I do not have a crush on Keith. We're just friends, end of story. The customers came in faster than I expected. They seemed to be enjoying themselves. I was taking orders and bringing them to, to Shay in the kitchen. And Cran would do the cleanup. Laura would take people to their tables. It was a good first day of work. I went home early for the day. Laura wanted us to make our own work schedule. I heard some noises and looked down an alleyway. It was a woman being mugged. I, interf I interfere. Hey, pick on someone your own size. The lady ran away, thank goodness, but now he was swinging his knife at me. Crap. I was being choked out when I hear a thud. The thug exclaimed, what the, before I heard him say anything else. He gets knocked out. I was scared. Are you alright? A hand was waiting in my face to be grabbed, and I saw him. Spider-Man. Keith's point of view. I was getting no luck with job hunting. I'll try tomorrow. <laughs> I was heading home when I heard a struggle, my spider sense tingling. I changed into my alias, Spider-Man, and saw Lance being choked by some low life. I hit the thug off Lance and knocked him out. I lowered my hand to Lance. Are you alright? I asked out of concern. He took my hand and I pulled him up. I'm fine. Thanks for saving me. It's what I do. After all, I'll be saving others as well. I was about to swing off because I heard cop cars coming but he spoke out wait will i see you again soon i smile in my mask and say i'll be around i whip soon away and call it a day i didn't sense any more crime so i went home i was on my computer looking up any jobs that were available i saw lance come to the front door gasping lance what's wrong i worry then Lance became excited. Keith, you're not going to believe this, but I was saved by Spider-Man. I smirk. Oh, really? Do tell. Lance explained what had happened, and I pretend to be utterly shocked. That sounds terrible, Lance. Are you okay? I ask. I'm fine. I don't believe what they call him. He definitely saved my butt. He's not a vigilante. He's a hero. My heart beats fast. My heart beats fast and and I blush at the praise he gave. <clears throat> the next day, I got a job at the Daily Marmora and told Hunk and Pidge I was a freelancing photographer. Hey, there's a 
cafe that just opened. We should celebrate there, Hunk said. So we went to the cafe and I saw Lance working as a butler. Lance's POV point of view. I saw Keith with Hunk and Pidge. I could just feel Keith staring at me in surprise. Allura seated them to a table and I was frozen stiff. Allura, could you take their order, please? Allura looked at me. Lance, that's not how this works. Now come on. I walked over in embarrassment and said, How can I help you? Hunk and Pidge took their time and Keith said, I'd like a coffee with a donut, please. Do you two want anything? I saw them smirk. Two Sundays, please. I could see the grins on their faces grow wider and I glare at them in annoyance. Is that all? They nod. Okay, I'll be back with your order. I head into the kitchen and give the paper to Shay. Lance, is something wrong? You look embarrassed. She noticed that quickly? No kidding. I was nervous and embarrassed and speechless. I cursed behind my breath and went to them to give them their order. Keith kept staring at me. It was kind of getting me more embarrassed than I expected. I turned around and put a note on their table and went back to work. <clears throat> Keith's point of view. Lance left a note in front of me. I opened it and read it. Keith, I can feel you staring at me. Please stop. It's kind of making it hard to do my job with you staring. Sorry I didn't tell you about my job sooner. Please forgive me. Lance. I was distracting Lance. I'm an idiot. It probably made him feel uncomfortable. As soon as we were done with our food, I went up to Lance and said, Sorry, I'll see you back at the apartment. We left and I phot photographed a few things on my way back. I guess I admit, though, he did look good in the butler outfit. Part 5. The Kiss. Keith's point of view. I was reading a book when Lance came home. Hey, how was work? It had been three days since I found out Lance was working as a butler at a cafe. Laura uh, was running ca old Altea Cafe. It was stressful. Some guy was trying to hit on Laura the whole day, so I had to save her. I think that's enough for someone to be considered a hero, trying to help their friends out and all. I said. Hi guys, Mitch is Shut here. Up! Sorry about that, guys. My sister was being annoying. Anyways, let's continue. I said, Lance, oh, shut up! Shut Lance chuckled. Spider-Man is better than me. After all, he did save more people than I have. If only you knew, Lance. Then maybe I could tell you how I really feel. I'm too much of a coward to tell him I like him. He gave me a Pepsi. Thanks. I said after he gave me the bottle. Lance then looked at what I was on my computer. What are you doing exactly? Sending Savos to the Daily Memora. Lance's point of view. Keith really does have an eye for background, doesn't he? It intrigued me how much he's putting into the school paper. I laughed to myself. I've been working nonstop and I want to take a nap. It's the best I could do after working all the, those shifts. I'm going to go take a nap. Could you order a pizza for me and wake up, uh, me up when it arrives? Sure, what topping? Anything is fine as long as there's no anchovies on it. I shiver and keep the those two. Guess he doesn't like them either. I went to bed and closed my eyes. The next day I worked a whole day. I was heading home and became concerned because I could feel someone following me. It was raining and I started to run. I ran into an alleyway and got surrounded by thugs. Hey, this guy has a pretty face. Maybe we can sell it on the black market. I glared at thugs in disgust. They make me sick. Sorry about that, guys. I decided to move so my sister wouldn't bother us. Anyways, let's continue. I was about to get mugged by when the thugs were pulled back by a strong force, and it was Spider-Man. He dodged and threw punches at them without breaking a sweat, but it didn't seem like he was in full costume. If only it wasn't raining. Maybe I could see his face clearly. After he beat the thugs, he disappeared into an alleyway. Wait! He was gone. He seemed to get into trouble a lot. I turned around to see him in an upside-down position. Like a spider, of course. You saved my life again. I think I have a stalker. I was in the neighborhood. You are incredible. Some people don't think so. 
I don't care what the other people say. He saved my me twice. And I want to thank him properly. Do I get to thank you properly this time? I reach up to remove his mask. Wait, he says. I only remove part of his mask to reveal his lips. I kiss him, and he kisses me back, as if the feeling is mutual. I break away from the kiss and put his mask back into place. And as soon as I did that, he swung to wherever he was going. It was tasty. Keith's point of view. I was on patrol when I saw Lance. I knocked out thugs and disappeared into an alleyway to put my mask on. Thankfully, it was raining and hard to see. Wait, I heard Lance say before I appeared behind him. Are you going to let me thank you properly this time? I watched his hands reach for my mask. Wait, as if he knew what I meant, he only revealed my lips. He kissed me, and I kissed back, and Lance broke away first, blushing as he put my mask back on me. I swung through the night and went home. I was filled with excitement and happiness. He kissed me, and I kissed him. It's exactly how I imagined it tastes like. It was sweet, and I was going to remember that forever. I became the photographer for Spider-Man, and when I had the chance, I let the camera to a crime and put it on an auto flash. Pictures would always turn out clear to see, but the kiss was so hot I felt myself wanting more. Lance came home. I knew he wouldn't say anything about the kiss with Spider-Man. Me. So I just looked at him with a wordy expression. You're back awfully late, Lance. Did something happen? Lance seemed to be daydreaming and didn't answer me immediately. I wave a hand in his face. Lance, are you there? He snapped back into reality. Oh yeah, sorry Keith, I was thinking. Okay then, by the way, I got takeout. Let's eat, shall we? He forked down his food and turned on the TV. He was looking to see if they found any more sightings of Spider-Man. He then noticed the newspaper. Did you take these pictures, Keith? I put my hand on my neck embarrassed. Yeah, I kind of like the Spider-Man's personal photographer. And smiled. That sounds like quite an honor. And said, looking at the pictures with sweet eyes. He loves Spider-Man, not Keith Kogane. I get sad seeing that he loves Spider-Man so much. That's his point of view. The next day, I have a day off, so I thought of just cleaning the apartment. I started with my room and worked my way through the house, and finally I stopped to clean Keith's room. I started vacuuming and saw a weird trunk under the bed. What the heck? I pulled out the trunk and opened it, only to find Spider-Man's suit. I am absolutely baffled. Keith is Spider-Man? I then recalled the kiss. I did see a mullet back then. I also found a book. It was Keith's diary. I wanted to look inside and said, spare me the privacy, Keith, I'm sorry. I opened the book only to find notes that were about me. I read a day in my head. It's from the high school days. I read it to myself whispering. I saw, I saw Lance today, bright and cheerful as usual. And I again failed to attempt to confess to him once again. But he did save me from Lotor and Nima. And I can't help but love him. I'm so darn gay for him. I'm an idiot. Why would he like someone who gets bullied each and every day? I don't know how to conf even confess to him. I'm afraid he'll reject me and call me weird, but I won't give up. I flush as I, be as I finish reading the confession and says, and say, he loves me. I put the stuff back where it was and I thought about it. I'm going to tell Keith how I feel and this time I'm going to make it clear. Part 6. Confession Keith's point of view. I was working on my camera, and for some odd reason, Lance kept staring at me. Was it something I did? He looked mad. I don't know why, though. I finally decided to confront him. Lance, did I do something to make you angry? Lance looked at me surprised. What makes you think I'm mad at you? I stare in confusion, but you were staring at me. Like I did something behind your back. Lance giggled. Keith, glaring and staring are two completely different actions. I am baffled. Then why were you staring at me like that, Lance? Then Lance looked at me with a serious face. Keith, are you Spider-Man? I widened my eyes in shock. How did he find out? I saw the suit in the trunk while I was cleaning your room, Keith. I went. I didn't want to put you in danger. I'm sorry. 
Lance's POV point of view. I had my suspicions as well, considering your mullet was a dead giveaway. Keith blushed. Is my mullet that obvious? Yeah, it kinda is. No one else would notice, since they probably wouldn't be able to recognize your characteristics. I paused for a moment, and I also found this when I saw the suit. It was enclosed in a tight space in between. Keith looked at the buck wide-eyed, and his face turned beet red. Hey, that's mine! Give it back! He took it away from me and blushed. Keith, I already read it. Keith's face darkened as it, if his heart sank in his chest. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He started crying and trying to cover his face from me in disappointment. Keith, were you worried that I was going to reject you for loving me? I looked up in surprise, but aren't you straight? I laughed uncontrollably while Keith was staring at me in confusion. Keith, whoever told you I was straight is so wrong. I'm actually bisexual. Keith blushed in surprise. And Keith, there is something I have to confess to. Keith's point of view. Lance walked towards me slowly and I backed up. But when I backed up into a wall, he pinned me. Keith, he said my name in a gentle whisper. I love you too. I felt my hat. His hot breath on my neck, and he kissed me on the lips. I closed my eyes and kissed him back. I put my arms around him lovingly. He then picked me up in a bridal-style position and carried me to my bedroom. He whispered in my ear as he gently laid me on the bed. Nervous. I mean, nervous? I look him in the eyes and kiss him, which was... I'm not... No, I'm not with you. He took it off his shirt and sucked on my neck. I moaned and then covered my mouth. I haven't made that sound before. I feel weird. Lance kissed my neck and neck and he told me, it's only natural since you haven't done this before. I looked at him with a passionate gaze. I love him so much. Lance proceeded to take my clothes off and Lance stopped. It's okay. I motioned him to continue and he did. I've loved you for the longest time, and I would do anything to protect you, Keith. So that's why all those years in high school, he did get angry for my sake. I kiss him. Thank you, Lance. Meanwhile, in the sewer, Sendak had completed his machine, and <clears throat> he would wait for the right moment when the humans are at their weakest and wouldn't expect it at night. In the morning, Lance's p point of view. I finally told him how I feel. I felt so relieved that he felt the same way about me. I got up and noticed he was nowhere to be found. He must be patrolling the city early. I got dressed, just went downstairs, and had some breakfast. I went to work and whistled while I was taking customers' orders. Laura looked at me with a sly grin. You seem to be in a cheerful mood. Something good happened to you yesterday? As if I'd tell you. This is a secret. I smirk. Laura raised an eyebrow in confusion. All right, then, you can work the rest of the day in the hospitals as well, Laura said, smiling. I feel as if I've dug my own grave at that. Keith hunk and Pitch entered the cafe, only sign I'm not embarrassed. I'm happy. Pitch looked at me in amazement. Oh, Lance, what's got you in such a good mood? What? Can't I be in a good mood while I'm working? Hunk whispers to Pitch. Do you think he knows about Keith's crush on him? Pitch looks at Keith and whispers back. Speaking of Keith, don't you think he's been acting a little weird today? Hunk nods in agreement. When the cafe was closed, I was surprised to find Hunk and Pitch waiting for me on the other side of the door. There was an eyebrow. What do you guys want? Well, just noticing that you and Keith have been acting strange, so we figured it was because you both finally confessed to each other. I am amazed how exactly did they find out I had a crush, how I had a crush on on Keith. Pidge then clarified Lance, even saving Keith and hanging out with him more than we have, it's pretty clear you either want to be his friend or you have a crush on him. It's pretty obvious. I looked at them with a look of hate, knowing that they've been watching me work and saw me wink at Keith a few times. I hate you guys so much. They both snicker in amusement, as Pidge said. We know. Oh, and if you break Keith's heart, I will kill you. I rolled my eyes. Pidge, if I were to break his heart, I would have done it already. You know how I am. You both agree in unison, which is kind of creepy. But I would never break Keith's heart. After all, he's the one I love the most.
Part 7. Saving the World. Keith's point of view. It's been a week since Lance and I confessed to each other. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I bring you home. I got a present for Lance. I hope he likes it. I got home to see Lance on the couch waiting, watching the news about Spider-Man. I call his name from the door. Lance, could you please help me with the groceries, please? Lance got up from the couch and take the bags, and he noticed I was carrying a huge box. Keith, what's in the box you have there? I smiled. You can open it when we finish putting away groceries, okay? We finished putting groceries away. Lance went over to the box. I grabbed my camera to take a video of his reaction. Lance opened the box and put a hand over his mouth. He's so cute, Keith, and small. I got him a puppy, and he was crying tears of joy. Lance's point of view. Keith got me a puppy. It was so cute. It looked like it came from space. You can give him a name, you know. Or are you going to keep crying over how cute he is? Keith exclaimed. I lifted him up. I think I'll call him Cosmo. Kind of fits, don't you think? Keith smiled and looked at the puppy. He was thrown to the litter. If I didn't save him, who knows what could have happened to him. We both hugged the puppy and gave him belly scratches. The next day, Keith's point of view. It was another crime-fighting day as usual. I had stopped two robberies, six muggings, and rescued three people from a fire. It was pretty much average, but that was about to change. My spider sense tingling, tingling. I knew something was wrong. The police were chasing a giant lizard who looked oddly familiar. Then I realized, it's Professor Sendak. He went missing before. I saw a weird machine he was carrying in his arms. He shouted, if I can't be normal, then I'll turn everyone into a lizard. I was shocked if he took that machine to the top of Galar Laboratory, then he'd have infected the whole entire world, and no one would be able to stop him. No one but me. I swung over to the giant lizard and kicked him onto the ground. I'm not going to let you infect this world, Professor. You're supposed to help people, not turn them. He became outraged. Did I ask for any help? No. They never once thought about helping me, ever. I whipped his machine out of his hand. I can't let you. His tail struck me from behind and tossed me into a giant window of the lab. I'm going to have to get rid of you or else you're just going to interfere with my work. He chased me through the window, through the building, and I kicked him. It's too crowded with all this furniture, but then I got an idea. I whipped the furniture and threw it to distract him. <clears throat> He'll think it's me and I can't get a chance to... Too. Then I hear a scream. Oh no, Lance, if you interfere, this one will meet his doom first. I could hear Lance struggle to stay awake. Spider-Man, don't worry about me. Stop him. I have to save Lance somehow. I thought of a plan. You're too scared that I'll beat you and take you to jail. Lance looked at me and realized my plan. You can't possibly beat him. After all, he's better than you. Sendak dropped Lance out the window and I soared through the air to grab him and take him to safety. But I was also hurt. Ugh, I groaned. The police chief called on the megaphone. Listen up, Spider-Man. We're willing to help you for the sake of saving the world. I looked to see the constructing construction cranes made a line to the lab. I think the chief and whip swing from perch to perch. As Sandek was in my line of vision, I attacked him from, si from the side and destroyed the machine, and he comes to his senses. Keith, I'm sorry. He turned to human and I fell off. The building. Sendak caught me with his one arm and lifted me up onto the building. Next thing I knew, I was at the apartment in my room with Lance sobbing beside me. Lance. Lance looked at me with teary eyes. You idiot. You could have been killed. Do you know how? Do you have any idea how worried I was? I hugged him to calm him down. You could have died. I would have been heartbroken. I can't live without you. I kissed him and he kissed back. I had to. I wasn't going to let him hurt you. Lance hugged me hard. Ow, Lance, I can still feel pain. Lance let go, remembering I was in extreme pain. Sorry, I forgot. Just don't get yourself into a situation like that again, please. Years passed. Keith was a scientist at the lab. We got married to Shay and opened a restaurant together. Me and Lance, well, we had other plans. Dad, Adiel keeps stealing my chocolate. It's not my fault. You're too slow to get to the front door. York. That's enough. We'll get you some chocolate when it's Halloween, okay? Lance chuckled. Wow, overprotective much? I looked at Lance and smirk. At least I didn't get look through your belongings. Lance looked at, looked at me with a studious look. 
Touché, well played. I smiled. Well, I learned only from the best. He gave Lance a kiss. Abiel handed Yorick some of his chocolate. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Yorick smiled and said, Okay. I look at Abiel and say, Protect your little brother no matter what, okay? Abiel smiled and said, Okay. Lance looked at me in confusion. What did you tell Abiel about exactly? Oh, nothing important. I wink at Adiel and he winks back. Yorick is lucky to have a good big brother like Adiel. He will watch over him. I just know it. And <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, sorry about my family. They're really embarrassing. And uh, my sister is annoying. So yeah. Hey guys, quick disclaimer before I end the video. Um, so, you guys might have heard my family members in the background. That's because Allison barged into my room without permission. So, I'm going to kill her later. And anyways, if you guys uh, like this video, so please uh, like, the, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below if you want me to read anything else or play any game or uh, what type of video you want me to react to. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.